Pardon? Which bus are you? I'm fast uh, going with three. It's my first time here. It's my first march of the living. I've never been back to Poland since the war. I never had the courage. I don't have a name. Ask me when I'm born. I have no idea. I was born in the town of Borgetta by the Russian border. I was hidden in a Catholic orphanage. The priest gave me a, a Catholic name, and I had my beads, and I had my cross, and I thought I was Catholic like everybody else. And the nuns were petrified that the Germans would know that I was Jewish. They had a person that stood on top of the tower and watched for the Germans, and they came. And every time they came, a nun would grab me and hide me in the basement in a little cupboard behind some drapes. And I was, I knew not to move, not to breathe, not to say anything. Because if the nuns, if the Germans found me, the nuns and the priests and all the children there would be killed. The Polish nuns taught me Polish, the Russian nuns taught me Russian, and I lived there for five years. After the war, a man and a woman came to the Catholic Church and I was given to them because they said they were my uncle and aunt. Um, my parents were killed. My uncle kept saying to me, you're not Catholic, you're Jewish. And I kept saying yes, but every time I saw none, I would chase it down the street. Because what does it mean you're Jewish? What does it mean you're Catholic? I only knew Catholic. I didn't know anything else. My uncle went to the doctor and said, what are we going to do? She's not taking off her cross. She refuses to give up her beads. And my uncle kept saying, you are Jewish. You're not Gentile. You have to take off the cross. And you have to remember you're Jewish and Jewish you are. And he said, I'm going to give you a different name. Your name is going to be Esther. Esther means hidden. And that's what you are, a hidden child. So we left Poland, came to Canada in 1951. Nobody knew what a Holocaust survivor was. The effects of the Holocaust never leave you. You are scarred, scarred for life. You kids are our future. Please do not forget that. Remember why you're here. Remember the Holocaust. Thank you so much. Thank you.